in our previous session we have created three input hidden fields so using that input hidden fields we are going to get the data and we will store that data inside the card table so for that we have accessed the values these are the three input hidden fields for all this we have given the name attribute and using this name attribute we are just going to access this one whenever i click on this add to cart whatever values i am having inside that input field i am accessing that values and i will be storing that inside the cart table now we are going to write the insert query i will come here i will write one comment insert cart data in cart table below this i am just going to create one variable let me just write here insert products is equal to my sqli query directly i am just going to write the query and this is going to take two parameters first is a connection variable to write connection variable we have already included our connect file and next directly we are going to write the query insert into our table will be cart so i will be writing cart and inside this i am just going to pass the column names first we have name then i am just going to insert the price then i am just going to insert the image and finally i am just going to give the quantity okay totally four columns we are having i am just going to write those names now if i just open my cart table inside this you can see we have name we have price we have image and we have this quantity so all these column names i have just written and by default i'm just going to create one variable product quantity product quantity and by default i'm just going to set the value as 1 i will write proper spelling so insert into cart table and i have just given this column names here i will be writing values inside this bracket first i'm just going to write my product name i will copy this and here i'm just going to write single quotes because this is varchar product name comma here product price paste it again comma here product image we are just going to store the path that is name of the file paste and finally we are just going to insert this quantity by default it will be 1 later on we can update and also we can decrease the quantity okay this is our insert query insert into cart cart table here we have just passed all the column names which is present inside our table we have given the values and inside this values we are passing all these values which will be stored inside the database i will save this i will come here i will just refresh this one now when i just click on this add to cart i will refresh this you can see all this data whatever you can see the blank data is displayed quantity is 1 and also the id is 1 and it is not able to access the values because inside this we are having the empty data we have not passed any values inside this input field so it has taken the empty data and it has stored inside the database so we have not fetched the data from the database directly we have just displayed static data and here inside this input field we have to get the data from the products table and when i click on this add to cart all the data whatever i am having inside the cart that has to be stored inside the database as of now the empty data is stored because inside the input hidden fields i do not have any data but you can see quantity is inserted as well as id is updated which means our insert query is successful later on what we are going to do we are going to fetch the data from the products table and as soon as we click on add to cart 
that data we are going to store it inside the cart table 